Hi everyone. I'm just wanting to talk about crosses. Now I don't just mean cross stitch, I mean crosses. Two stitches that cross each other. Let's just have a look. So when you were doing traditional cross stitch, I don't know if you've ever done any, but you tend to sort of uh, we'll pretend we've got proper lines there. You go like this, you do a row, and you do one stitch, like that, and they are always done, you know, with the, um, the one on top facing the same direction. So you would always make sure that, so there's your cross, and there's you know, that one. And when you come back, you cross over it. So you go there, and up, and there, and up. And that's about it for cross stitch. But what's happening is that that stitch is always on top. And it's all very, very proper, very good. But uh, what else can we do, you know? So yes, I do like a, a cross, um, but what is a cross? Okay, so let's have a look. Now we can have a cross that's, so that one was diagonal. We could have one that's straight up and down and side to side. That's another type of cross. If we did a series of them, it could look like a fence. And if it got larger as you went, you know, it could be a fence coming towards you where it's larger. Railway tracks, all kinds of things that could be. So I'm just saying... That's a cross too. What else? Well, I quite like the idea that a cross is uh, long and thin, like this. You can see how both of them are the, the same length. Well, we don't have to do that. We could also do something like... Completely different. Or it could be this direction. Long and thin. Uh, could be so many things. Could be more of a square. So what I'm getting at is crosses can actually work for you in a lot of ways. So I was saying that this one here could easily be railway tracks or teeth, you know, in a mouth. Or um, a fence. But I've been having a little experiment. Um, I'm going to make this a two-part uh, series. And in this one, we'll just talk about how, you know, you can use crosses, how they can be different. And I'll show you what I've made from it. And in the, uh, in the second part, if you want, you can watch the whole process of the, of the work being made. Where I made a little landscape and everything was just crosses. So in textile art, how could we use it? Well, I was thinking the most obvious thing for me would be to just have uh, grasses that were like, yeah, so we've got crosses. 
but if they're grouped together like that long and thin we've got a little collection of grass imagine that if that was in different colors you know you had some at the back in a darker color some lighter ones on top that's pretty well it uh, I also sort of thought well what else um, and I liked the idea of being able to do a little tree so I um, I was doing little pine trees and I had I started very small and then I just get bigger so every time I did it I would be further out So that's very basic but that's just sort of showing you what it could be use your imagination you've got a series of trees there um, so I'm really quite happy with the idea of crosses everyone can do it they don't have to be precise I'm not asking anyone to be you know, right at this angle or anything it's just where can it take us Sometimes I think it's really good to just see with one stitch how far it can take you. Okay, so that is single lines crossed, but it doesn't have to be just that. What if we did a more complicated cross? Or The traditional cross. So think about how you can vary a cross and what it can be. If we crossed it and put a third one in we would have a little star a little star in the sky or a flower what happens if we do it like this So, just thinking about varieties, uh, there's one more thing I would like to tell you, and that is that you can always couch something on with it. I um, did a lot of that in the little video I want to show you soon. Oh, I've just been doing them in black so that they show up, and you can see what I'm uh, trying to explain. But another thing you can do, which I do do in this uh, video that I do a landscape from just using crosses is I do a little tree and just like I was showing you before very simplified version you can you know couch something underneath it maybe like a stem you know and you would end up with a nice little tree and the Maybe, maybe you do some odd shapes, maybe you don't, but you're getting the gist of what I'm talking about, about how you could make quite a few things from just a cross. So let's have a look. Now another place I've been known to use them, see here, is in these fabric collages. In between squares, holding it down, meandering across. Very effective. Here's another. Don't they look effective? Now let's have a look at this. This is going to be a separate video. 
I thought I'd give you a little sneak peek because everything, this whole landscape, is done with crosses. Put little trees in the background, larger trees in the front. I haven't quite finished yet, but I just thought I'd give you a little look how I'm going. And the way that the crosses are used and the shape of them works, I think, and we end up with a great little landscape. So if you're interested to see this one completed from start to finish, how I came up with the idea, then you're welcome to watch my next video, which will show you the whole, the whole process. So there we are. I encourage you to try for yourself and see what you can come up with with just doing crosses. It really is a fun experiment and very creative. My name's Tracy and Art Fibre Stitch is my business. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please do press like and subscribe. All my other details are below. Thanks for watching.